uh, Sagittarius, Mercury, and retrograde, where the energy is coming towards you. Remember, you can control these energies, okay? Uh, Sagittarius, Mercury, and retrograde, what is coming towards you? March, April, 2018. Sagittarius, Mercury, and retrograde, what is coming towards you? Kind of a fun time, too, if you let it. Mercury and retrograde, as long as you don't take things seriously. But it's never good when your car breaks down because that's when it usually happens. So get your char car checked out beforehand because it's really hard to work on. It's another strength card I got from another sign. But someone's losing a little bit of strength. The energy's not there. So let's find out. And these are energies coming your way. You may get a love offer or a nice offer. It doesn't have to be love. With cups, it doesn't have to be love. It's just, it just could be something you love. Okay. Wow. Uh, you got the sun card. It's in reverse. It's a type of past energy that you're still feeling during the retrograde. It's not a negative card. You know, the sun card. The sun card is a positive card no matter what. But it's in the past. Maybe you didn't get something you want exactly the way you wanted it. But it was still a good thing. You're hearing good things. You're feeling good things. But you're not 100% there. I'm going to get these uh, clarifier cards, which I do pre-shuffle. This is for Sagittarius. I want to know what the sun card's about. Why aren't you 100% ha happy, Sagittarius? Could be because of Mars, you know. Don't be sad. I thought it was out of your 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 uh, sign, but it is it is about ready to transfer over to Capricorn. So why is the Sun card reversed? Why are you there? Uh, maybe a secret came out, or maybe your intuition was off, and you're just feeling like. That you can't get down to exactly what you want. You, you, you're you not getting exactly what you want. You feel like you're guessing wrong. You're not very sure of yourself. In the, in the past and going into the retrograde. Now as an obstacle coming in. And how you're feeling from energies that are coming in. Is the Nine of Swords. And they call that the cruelty card in this, in this spread. But it's the Nine of Swords. So and that could be the Mars energy. It is a Mars card. I don't know if you can see that. you got Mars, the Mars symbol up there. I don't know if you can't see that. I'll just put it right here. It's, it's a Mars type symbol. And that's coming towards you in Mercury and Retrograde. It could be someone got, you know, having words with you. Or you having words with somebody coming towards you. Let's find out. I don't know for sure. Nine of Swords. Why are you there? Why are you there as an obstacle? Maybe because something's not as moving forward as 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 fast as you'd like. Because the chariot's a slow moving energy when it's reversed. This means it's not going forward or it's slow that way. Not going as fast as you want. Now, as the current environment during Mercury and retrograde, it's, it's going to be like a, a a main subject at hand, and it's going to be things offered to you. It's the Ace of Cups. And Ace of Cups is an emotional card. It's something, it's about love and friendships and things you love. And it's coming towards your, it's coming your way. So let's find out what maybe is coming your way. Man, these cards are just not shuffling. One of these days I am going to get different cards. Yeah, you're not going to feel chained to a certain situation. Maybe over a negative situation at home. Because something's coming in that's going to reverse the devil. And it could have something to do with your home or just happiness in general. And you do have some kind of contemplating about how you're going to work out a situ situation in the future. You're going to be thinking, should I accept this offer or not accept this offer? Because this is someone who's just pondering. What should I do? Now you got the Empress, and she's um, the overall energy of what's going to be occurring during this time. And that's growth, fertility, sometimes a pregnancy if you're not careful, if it's not what you want. But it's 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 growth, it's 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 blessings, it's it's the Empress. Now, why is the Empress the overall energy?
Maybe because something, well, the death card reverse, and you get the empress there, and she's in the upright. I'm thinking you're going to resurrect something in your life, something that you thought was over or done with or that you had put away for good may not be exactly over. Could be a relationship, job, someone from the past, because they come back and Mer doing Mercury and retrograde all the time. Or you're thinking about it, but this is showing blessings, and maybe I'm thinking it's something you thought was dead. And I can't say that it should stay dead because you got blessings attached to it. Now, the Hermit card is the, over, uh, the ending energy. And the Hermit card is someone who keeps themselves. They're pondering what to do next. It's not that, you know, they're totally antisocial. They're just not going to tell you everything. And they may not get out and about as much. They may be concentrating on this situation coming in. So the Hermit card, why are you there? Why are you there, Hermit card? Yeah, you're staying. You're not moving on from a certain situation. You're thinking about... I think as attached to that outside environment, usually when it's in the upright, can you see it? It's someone who's like moving on from, you know, troubles. They, they're going to leave all this junk behind and say, chuck it, I'm moving on. But you're not. You're going to revisit whatever is coming in. You're going to revisit something. And this is going to occur even from now to Mercury and retrograde, but this is the energies that you're going to be dealing with during Mercury and retrograde. The only problem, like I said, with Mercury and retrograde, it gets a little screwy. Sometimes the energies are confusing, and sometimes I die down after the retrograde. So keep your, you know, keep a good head on your shoulders. You know, don't get, oh, you got a victory card. I didn't see that. You got a victory coming in, too. So Sagittarius, things looking up. Even though I know you had some rough waters you were dealing with, things are finally starting to turn in your favor, I do believe. Now, it's up to you what you do with them. You don't have to accept this uh, Nine of Swords coming in. You can change that. Yeah, you can't change how fast-paced uh, things are, are going. You're going to have to take your time with this. It's something worth working for. Another major arcana, you got the Devil Reverse. You're becoming unchained. That is a major arcana. You got the death card here and the empress, so this, these are major arcanas. These will most likely happen. And the hermit, so you got some etched in stone certain situations coming up. The only thing you don't have to take is that anger. Use it to work with. When it, when it could be actually not even anger. It could be that work is coming your way. Mars has to do with work. It is an aggressive planet, and it can, you can let it you can let it work for you, or you can get rid of it. Uh, if you work with it, you can use it as, uh, like I said, regular your regular work job, exercise, and just getting something done in your life that needs to get done. With the negatives with uh, with this coming your way, it could start some arguments. It's just got, not going to move as fast as you like. So you got some blessings coming in here. Recognize them if they do. Some people miss an opportunity. So if this is you and, and this resonates with you, use it to your advantage. And that, that is basically your, your uh, card reading. Happy victory, Sagittarius. Happy victory. Bye.